I just worked on this area over here. Um, so underneath the uh, rain cloud that I'd like to make, I wanted to make the rain start coming down over the mountains. Uh, and it kind of changes colors because it's a big storm. And then you can see where the sky is um, blue, where it hasn't quite reached, so it's moving along. Um, I've got a whole lot of detail to do up in the top where the clouds are, where the sky is starting to turn. Um, I've got a few more passes to do here with with how the rain is going to be coming back down over the mountains. Uh, and then some of the wispy clouds that I would like to um, kind of peek, peek out from over here um, as it's pushing into the clear sky. So, um, that's about as far as I've gotten for tonight. It's super wet, so I'm going to have to let it dry. Uh, and I'll come back to it, and when I come back, I'll work on the top pieces. I'll really put a heavier uh, underline underneath the cloud to make see where the light is hitting it on top and the light is not reaching it underneath. Um, kind of start to go over the mountains a little bit. Uh, again, so that they become uh, blurry with the rain. Uh, but the rain is in the distance. Right? So I don't want it to come too far over the line of grasses. This is far away rain. It's kind of creeping along. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of sunlight that's hitting the the top of the of the clouds as it goes along. Just a tiny bit so that you can see that the sun is still out. It just happens to be this one heavy uh, thunderstorm that's rolling along in the background. 